Hey everyone, James Wilson here with MTV Strength Training Systems and BikeJam.com and today I'm going to show you how to use kettlebell training with two of my favorite training methods, isometrics and hybrid exercises to get a great workout at home if you need to. All you need is one kettlebell and your body weight and uh, yeah, it's a great way to stay in shape and uh, keep yourself ready for the trip. So first thing I'm going to do is show you the first exercise which is a Turkish getup, uh, with the, the hip heist Turkish getup is what I call it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a regular Turkish get up. So you're gonna get your kettlebell, you're gonna get the kettlebell up, get yourself set, you're gonna get up on your elbow, you're gonna get up on your hand, and at this point here, what you're gonna do is you're going to slide your knee underneath you. And then you're going to stop right here, and we're gonna reverse, we're gonna go down from here. So you slide your knee along the ground out, then come down to your elbow, and then you come back down to your back. And so again, up to your elbow, up to the hand, and then slide the knee under you, stabilize, and then slide the knee down so you're sitting back down on your butt cheek here, and then back down to your elbow, and then back down to your back. And so what you're gonna do is set a timer for five minutes, and you're gonna do three reps on one side, and then do three reps on the other side, and you're just gonna go back and forth for five minutes with that exercise. So start with your weaker side, so that way if you end up doing more on one side than the other, you uh, kind of even things out, if you will. But um, that, that's what you're gonna do for the hip heist Turkish getup. The next exercise that we're gonna do is a static hold with the kettlebell. And so we're gonna do a front hold. You're gonna grab your kettlebell, and you're gonna get it set, and you're gonna press it out in front of you and you're gonna hold it in this position. Now a couple things you're looking for here, you wanna make sure you keep your shoulders down away from your ears, and you keep your elbows, the, the point of your elbow down, and the elbow pit here pointed up. I don't want those pointed side to side, I want those pointed up and down. That'll help lock in my, uh, my arm, help lock in the shoulder, and make me stronger here. You wanna keep those shoulders down, you wanna feel like you're using this upper back to hold the weight out here and make sure you're not leaning back too much. Nice tall posture. And so your goal is to be able to hold this for 45 to 60 seconds. Okay, you may have to start out with uh, much less than that, but what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hold as long as you can maintain good breathing and posture. That's the thing with any of these isometric holds, you don't wanna compromise your posture and start you know, using shallow breaths and contorted face. You gotta be able to keep a relaxed face good breathing, good posture, and when you lose those is when you're done with the exercise, uh, or like I said, until you get to the prescribed time there in the program, uh, which is like 30 to 60 seconds. So the next one that we're gonna take a look at is a single leg bridge. And so this is just a body weight exercise. You're gonna get set to do a bridge. You wanna pull your heels in tight, and keep your heels pulled in while you squeeze your glutes to drive your hips off the ground. You don't wanna let the the hamstrings totally relax and let the feet start pushing away. So keep the heels pulled in tight while you're squeezing the glutes. You're gonna get up to your top position and then you're gonna take one leg off the ground by just straightening the leg out. And then again, your goal is to hold this position for 30 to 60 seconds. And if you can't quite get to the 30 to start, that's fine, but you know, that's your goal uh, to, to start out with. And again, you want to you know, feel this in the glutes, you don't want to feel this in the lower back, a lot in the quad. You know, you feel some of the hamstring in here, it shouldn't be making like the belly of the hamstring cramp. This will really help you focus in on making sure that you're using your glutes uh, for that instead of all those other things, which uh, can be easy to do when you're just uh, doing a lot of regular bridges or if you're not even doing any bridges. The next one we're going to take a look at is our uh, goblet squat. And so you're going to get your weight, you're going to get set up for your goblet squat, and you're going to drop down into the bottom position. And you're gonna hold this position. And again, you wanna hold for 30 to 60 seconds. All right, and if holding the weight, if doing this is hard, and you need to start out with just body weight, then that's fine, okay? Just do a body weight squat, come down as far as you can, and then hold that position for the 30 to 60 seconds. So those are the three exercises that you're doing for uh, the isometrics. You're gonna do one set of each, you're just holding until uh, for 30 to 60 seconds or as long as you can. And then once you're done, you rest a little bit, go to the next one. And so once you're done with those three, you can move to the next two exercises, 
which are actually hybrid exercises, and they combine two exercises into one. And so the first one is a stagger stance deadlift with a row. And so we're going to grab our kettlebell, and we're going to get it set. We're going to get it set in a stagger stance position. So think of stagger stance as single leg with a kickstand, right? I don't want this too far back, so I start putting weight on it. I got like 90 plus percent of my weight on this leg, and I step just far enough back to give me a little kickstand with my, my toes here. Right? I don't want to put a whole lot of weight on this foot. I'm just using this as a kickstand to do the single leg movement. And then I've got the weight on the opposite side of the foot in front of me. So I'm going to do a good stagger stance deadlift. I'm going to push my butt back. I like to imagine there's a button on the wall behind me. And I'm trying to push my butt back to find that button. And when I can't push my butt back anymore, I stop. And now I'm going to do a row. I drive my elbow to the ceiling, I hold the top for a second, and I come back down, and then I come back up to the top. So I'm combining my stagger stance deadlift with a row, and then back up. So that's where it becomes a hybrid exercise of combining two movements with one. A good hinge with a good row, and then back up. So you're going to do five reps on one side, and then you're going to do five reps on the other side, and then you're going to move on to the next hybrid exercise, which combines a squat with a press. So again, we're going to go back to our goblet squat. You're going to do your squat, and then when you come up to the top, you're going to flip the kettlebell so that now you're holding it like this, and we're going to do a press, a double overhead press, bring it down, and now we flip it so the bell is facing down. I do my squat, I flip it so the bell is facing out, I press up, and then back down. And then again, I'm gonna do three of these, or I mean, sorry, five of these for with this exercise. And then again, put it down, and rest, and then go back to the stagger stance, deadlift and row. And again, with this one, with these two exercises, you just wanna set a timer for 10 minutes. And so it's not a race, right? You're just taking your time, you do, you know, set, catch your breath, do a set, catch your breath. Like, don't start a set unless you know that you can finish it. So if you need a little more rest at the end, that's fine. But this is a form of density training, which is a good way to work on your strength endurance in a sneaky little way, which is really the best way to do it. Because if you're pounding your head on the ceiling of your 100%, uh, the odds of you getting hurt are higher. So this kind of workout where you're doing, you know, just five reps of each one of these, and we're just setting a timer, and you can rest as long as you need to, and then as you get fitter, you'll find that you're doing more, right? You're able to do more reps, you're able to get some more sets in there, and so you're actually gonna be doing more work in the same amount of time, and that increases the density, uh, you know, work per time, and that is a real important factor for our strength endurance, especially as mountain bikers. So, again, that's, uh, that's the routine there. Uh, you can find the routine at bikejames.com and check out kettlebell workout with uh, isometrics and hybrid exercises and uh, you'll be able to, to find the, the uh, printer, you know, the list of the exercises and all that stuff there. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this workout. If you have any questions, you can hit me up at james at bikejames.com. You can also find a lot of free stuff at bikejames.com, free workouts you can download, more free training tips and things like that. So uh, always here to help, and let me know if I can help you out, and I'll talk to you guys next time.